When I first uh, heard of these uh, low field systems, I was quite, I was quite dubious, um, but I was actually quite pleasantly surprised uh, working with, with the ICON system and low field systems. When we had the, the 9.40, which is next door, it took us a good few weeks to get up and running. Whereas with the low field system, the bench top, it was definitely within a week, if not two to three days, we were getting images out of it. So uptime was really quick. The next one has got to be ease of access, especially when you're in a multidisciplinary environment such as this, and you want to fluidly move between one system and your MRI scanner. Now with a high field system, of course, anything ferrometallic, you've got to you know, constantly check yourself down, badges, cards, you know, watches, all that stuff. And that doesn't allow for ease of movement between different things, and especially when it's placed in a multidisciplinary environment. Space is always limited in labs. So we've got an MRI scanner here in the nuclear medicine facility, right next to the PET and the SPET scanner within this tiny space. And that again, allows great access. You can readily and quickly move between the nuclear medicine systems where you've got all your cellular and metabolic information straight into the MRI scanner to get that lovely anatomy. There is a place for the icon, I would say, because um, you know, it takes up much less space compared with a 9.4T system. Um, whereas on a desktop system, it's, it can just sit in the corner of most biomedical imaging, or even biomedical labs. It can sit in most biomedical labs. Um, it doesn't require such stringent uh, environment controls. It doesn't need a cold water supply. Um, and you know, it sits quite happily in the corner of our um, nuclear imaging um, lab. So, and it, you know, you can sit in with other modalities or it can sit in with other labs. So I think that's probably where the niche will be. In, uh, in areas where you can't fit a big number 40 scanner or uh, the capital costs are too high and additionally the running costs of the icon are very low. I think there will be a move towards higher field systems. That's what we've seen over the last decades and I can't see any reason why that won't stop. The real challenge that I'll throw back to the engineers if we want high fuel systems that look like this.